by such uh, other person or persons as the officer shall designate. So what what this means is that nobody under this authority can be subpoenaed to testify in court or anywhere else um, except uh, as authorized by the appropriate officer identified in Section 802 of this order. So that means that if it is not one of the president's henchmen who is the designated officer issuing the subpoena, then it means nothing. It doesn't have to be considered, looked at, um, followed, or anything else. If it's wow. not, yeah, yeah. So only the president's appointees can issue a subpoena to any one of these people. So that's, as I said earlier, we're talking about executive immunity. Okay. What do you think about that? That's incredible. I mean, they've got it set up all the way around. You know? I think Danny Glover answered that question in the end of Lethal Weapon 2 perfectly. What you do when diplomatic immunity. Yeah, he revoked it. I think these people's diplomatic immunities should be revoked and they should be tried for sedition and treason again. I agree. Yeah. I agree. C, excluded from the authorities delegated by Section 802A of this order are authorities delegated by Parts 4 and 5 of this order, authorities in Section 721 and 722 of the Act, and the authority with respect to fixing compensation under Section 703 of the Act, and it gives the section. Section 803, authority. I mean, we're almost through this here. Uh a, Executive Order 12919 as of June 3rd, 1994, and Sections 401, 3, and 4 of Executive Order 12656 from November 18th of 1988 are revoked. So he's revoking authority that's been given in other previous executive orders. All other previous issued orders, regulations, rulings, certificates, directives, and other actions relating to any function affected by this order shall remain in effect except as they are inconsistent uh, with this order or are subsequently amended or revoked under proper authority. Nothing in this order shall affect the validity or force of anything done under previous delegations or other assignment of authority under the Act. So, so this means that every executive order regulation ruling you know laws supreme court rulings other court rulings certificates directives actions will not be affected as long as they uh comply with this order that's what this is saying <laughs> in other words none of it is is any good anymore unless it uh, is in, is in yeah, line. everything is null and void unless it abides by the rules of dictator right. Obama or who, whatever other puppet gets put in that that's uh, right. position of power. Right, and that's what it says. It says that none of those things shall be uh, shall shall be affected by this order. That they will remain in effect as long as they are. Uh, Except, in other words, unless they are inconsistent with this order or are subsequently amended or revoked under proper authority. So I'm, cu I'm curious to see all the things that were revoked, what they actually were. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to do that research after we're through and, and see what that was talking about. So B, nothing in this order shall affect the authorities assigned under Executive Order 11858 of May 7, 1975. There's a lot of homework to do here. As amended, except as provided in Section 802 of this order. C, nothing in this order shall affect the authorities assigned under Executive Order 12472 of April 3rd, 1984, as amended. Section 804, General Provisions. Nothing in this order shall be construed to impair or otherwise affect functions of the Director of OMB relating to budgetary, administrative, or legislative proposals. Uh, B, the order shall be implemented consistent with applicable law and subject to the availability of appropriations. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. C, the order is not intended to and does not create any right or benefit, substantive or procedural, enforceable at law or in equity by any part 
by any party against the United States, its departments, agencies, or entities, its officers, employees, or agents, or any other person. Let me read that again. This order is not intended to and does not create any right or benefit, substantive or procedural, enforceable at law or in equity by any party against the United States, its departments, agencies, entities, officers, employees, agents, or other persons. So uh, there's no rights or benefits to anybody that uh, is against the United States. Uh, You know, of course, that's something that's at their discretion. Um, It's departments, agencies, entities, officers, employees, agents, or any other person. So if they say that uh, somebody, you know, is attempting to stop this, uh, they have no rights. They have no authority. Uh, you know, th- that that's what that's saying. Wow. And that's it. Signed Barack Obama, the White House, March 16th, 2012. And once again, it, it skates by without the major media presenting anything to us, you know, about this. Uh, again, just like NDAA, right before, you know, a holiday weekend. One which alcohol is is uh, greatly consumed. We had a New Year's Eve for the NDAA, and now you've got St. Patrick's Day. And uh, again, what will happen on Monday? We'll see. So listen, guys, I'm going to uh, put my husband, Joe Joseph, back on to close this out with you guys. And, you know, for any final comments or anything, we want to thank all the listeners and everybody listening to this who hung with us through this. We know that this is a long uh, podcast. We know that there's a lot of information here, but we literally went through and broke it down section by section so that everybody can really fully grasp the severity of what this is talking about here. And it's extremely serious. We're talking about a complete restructuring of the United States as we know it. Every single aspect, every single uh, function, just total control under the president. He's declaring himself the supreme dictator of the United States. And the only people that have any power for anything are the advisors and the, um, the authorities that he delegates. Uh, I would like to see what Congress has to say about this. It's extremely treasonous. And frankly, they I were think already that- told the other day, Ange. They, they got yeah. told the other day by exactly uh, Leon right. Panetta that you're yeah. pretty much ceremonial right. and uh, we don't need you. Right. And that is what happened. You know, basically, Leon Panetta and um, and General Dempsey went to the Congress and basically, I guess, laid the groundwork for this by saying that, look, you know, we're, we're the ones in charge. We're in control here. You're not whether you like it or not. So with that, I'd like to thank everybody again, and uh, we'll be putting on my husband, Joe Joseph. Thank you, Angie. Great job. Thank Absolutely you, guys. Great. Angie Joseph, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, I tell you what, this, you know, um, John and, and Popeye, this is just, you know, chilling stuff. Just one by one, they just keep unloading something new on us, and it's it's been going on. Since really, I mean, if you take a look at just since November of 2011 and see how many things have been thrown at us, uh, you know, on November 9th, they did that EAS, the, uh, the the first ever national emergency alert, you know, why, you know, went through the whole Cold War, went, you know, through 9-11. Suddenly on November 9th, they decided to do this. And on November 18th, you know, you've got that uh, FEMA continuity of government plan that Joan Angie uncovered. Later on, the 28th, you've got the NDA bill going through. Uh, December 8th, you know, Obama has a strategic implementation plan. Uh, February 8th, well, you know, uh, December 31st, Obama signs NDAA. February 8th, we've got H.R. 658 comes along. March 58th, uh, or March 58th, March 13th, FEMA, you know, announces the FEMA Corps. And then now, March 17th, we've got this uh, NDRP, the National Defense resources uh, preparedness it's it's unbelievable what's happened in just a very short amount of time since november until now you know what guys uh, this reeks to high heaven of <sighs> financial collapse like uh the united states not being able to trade or pay their bills I well mean, that's that- why i said what the hell are they planning for or, or you know or do they know about that they're going to have to require 
us to be self-sustaining 110% because we won't be able to get anything from anywhere, from out, any outside sources. So either the economy goes down or they're going to do something that's going to piss off the entire world. One of the two things. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long podcast this evening, but we needed to break down the entire executive order so everybody could understand it because it's so long. Uh, we know most people aren't going to read all the way through it, and there will be things that will get uh, left out. So we wanted to cover it as much as we could. I urge you to go out and read it yourself. You can go read it at federaljack.com under the title uh, – let me go check it here – under the title – it's so long I have to scroll up to the top – Obama Issues Executive Order Declaring Peacetime Martial Law. Bypasses Congress, takes over all resources. You can see it at federaljack.com. Alex Thomas posted a copy of the same executive order over at the intelhub.com, which if you go to the Intel Hub, you can also see uh, all of our previous podcasts on many subjects, including Agenda 21, which was referenced tonight, which I urge you to go check out because Joe and I talk about uh, the plant Opolis and a lot of this takeover of transportation and stuff sounds very similar to um, things that are involved with Agenda 21. So you can see it all dovetails together, ladies and gentlemen. So go check out the older podcasts over at the intelhub.com, and they always have new articles up there. You can hear my radio show over on the Orion Talk Radio Network on Wednesday nights and Friday nights, 10 p.m. to midnight Eastern Standard Time, Sundays, 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can also hear Joe and Tim over at the, the same place, over at Orion. And uh, their show is on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 10 p.m. to midnight Eastern Standard Time. And Sundays, 7 to 9 Eastern Standard Time. Just go check it out, oriontalkradio.com. That's oriontalkradio.com. You always check out my site, federaljack.com. And ladies and gentlemen... Stay tuned to the Intel Hub News Brief because we will be bringing you more and more podcasts with more information every week.